Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to basically um, open up Massive or basically any type of plugin in GarageBand 10. So if I open up GarageBand, it's, it's a little bit different than the old GarageBand. It looks more like Logic, which if you don't know, it's more like a beat making, more like a Fruity Loops of... Whoops. More like a Fruity Loops of of the Mac, I guess you can say. Um. So yeah, so I, I open up the old Garage Band. That's what it looked like. But here's the new Garage Band. Right here, uh, you could choose an empty project. I don't know about any other projects. So software instrument. Press create. And make sure musical typing is open. You don't have to have it open, but just in case you um, just in case you want to re like restart recording or you want to hear if Massive is working correct. So if you should already have Massive in your VST library. Um, I'm not gonna show how to put Massive in your library. Uh, you can comment if you want that, but um. So basically what you're going to want to do now is right here, it sh there's like a paw type of thing right there. You want to click it and bring it up. Press the I, the kind of like the inspector. And go to audio units. Now specifically for massive, you go to instrument, not audio effect. It might Another plugin that you try to... Uh, like use in GarageBand 10 will probably be an audio effects, but if they if it isn't, then try um, instruments. So when you click instruments, go to AU instruments, native instruments, and click massive. Now right here, um, a massive will, will pop up, and boom. <laughs> So everything works. Uh, if you have presets already in, I'm I make uh, house dubs dub anything basically EDM. And the original presets also work with it. So. Basically, anything that you have on here is gonna work. So hope you all have a great day and uh, bye. Hopefully it helped.